And we're getting a look at some of the challenges our region's rural hospitals are facing. They are in the spotlight right now as COVID cases are surging faster there. Vanessa Rufus spoke with a local system that says it's not just the beds they need to watch, it's also the burnout. We sat down with Appalachian Regional Healthcare, which serves the high country, primarily Avery County. Avery was the last county in the whole state to report a COVID-19 case, and now it's one of the state's hot spots. At Watauga Medical Center, the COVID beds are filling. June, July, August, you know, we were, we were, we had two, three, up to five patients in the hospital at any given time. And so we felt really good about where we were. We heard about the second wave and um, it's here for us. And so, you know, we've had as many as 16 people in our 23 bed unit. Rob Hudspeth with Appalachian Regional Healthcare says like other systems, they have a surge plan, a way to ease back on other procedures as coronavirus demands rise. But for them, it's not just about the beds. They're also trying to fight the burnout. There are only so many critical uh, care trained uh, professionals um, that we employ. And so we actually did some contract staffing um, in our COVID unit, and that's helped um, ease that burden quite a bit. And here's what the burden looks like. Health officials say rural counties here in blue are seeing twice as many new coronavirus cases than others. And under the state's new county alert system, Avery County is in the red. Critical viral spread high cases for the population size. Hudspeth says staff will continue with their important work, but they need the community's help. We have to be responsible to each other. Um, and that's really the, the main message. By being responsible, Hudspeth says that means practicing the three W's, getting a flu shot, and also not delaying medical care to the point that you need emergency care in an emergency bed. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.